soon. Yes, hopefully this internet will not act weird. It was weird this morning. At least my our connection here. All right, uh, let's hope for the best. Okay, please be with us all the time. And this is a lesson that I think you will be able to have an opportunity to two things. One, make a connection on what we have learned yesterday. And second, participate, participate more in class, particularly if you need more points to make a better, to improve the grade. All right. Okay, excellent. Let us go back to what you saw. Cesar was the last one who made a comment that said, yes, Cesar Guido. And let me find out who was the last person who gave us the answer to my question. What is, what is, what was wrapped with aluminum foil? Let me see who was it. <laughs> oh, it was George, Bravo. Thanks, George. If you haven't typed the word lemon, please do so now. All right. There are several students as well. A lemon. This is another representation. Going to use it as a model to represent the planet Earth. Yesterday, we used eductic to represent this Earth. This time, we're going to use lemon, and we are going to put precise words. Because in our lesson today, in the experiment, the water is almost boiling, and that's what we I need. All right, after this quick sneak peek of the lesson yesterday, looking at it in a different manner. Okay, so let me refocus the camera. Please pin the screen where you see my hand waving, and I can see it in the guardian. Excellent. If you haven't, please do so. No. Hey. I like seeing bigger things. One thing is that I have my glasses on. All right, class. Here's the lemon. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to use okay, half of the lemon. I was, I'll make certain that everything is clean so I can still squeeze the juice. All right. Now, I do have, where's the red? Yes, I got the red. I have the yellow and the blue. I'm going to pin this in one of the half of the one half of the lemon so i'm going to pin the blue along the uh, peel of the lemon out out along the around the lemon the red is in the flesh and then the yellow is at the center all right you know what i think i let me get a different color instead of hopefully i can get because the yellow doesn't uh no, I think that's the other one. What about the white? Because the yeah, the color of the lemon is yellow. Yeah, what about the white? I think white is better, right? Oh yeah, is white better than yellow? You can see it, right? Top, top in the chat room, one or three. Yes, 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 yes. Let's take the yellow one. Okay, so there's a contrast. Now, here we have three pins that is placed exactly where they should be all right imagine that this lemon is half of the earth you you slice it into half imagine and that's what we need to do imagine that this is the planet earth and we cut it into half for, for us to see what's outside what's in the middle and what's in the center mm -hmm. today but the plan is to put words in every out middle and center i think some of you have known this in the past good for you because you would be able to say ah i knew it if not it's okay there is always the beginning to learn something new are you still with me? Type in the room. Waiting at 104. Excellent. Okay. I will refocus the camera on the counter where you see the four index cards. 
when I put one by one, respond by putting the word in the room. Okay? So there are several words. I want to select the one that is not that is not highlighted. The one that is big and it's not highlighted. Now if you want to go for if you want to give yourself an extra mile, we'll type everything. But it's gonna be quick though. So just put the word, which is the vocabulary. The one that is not highlighted. All right. The one that is written in, in big font, in big letters. Right. Uh, I guess that's clear, right? You're going to type the word that is not highlighted. And this will represent the different layers of the earth. Thank you, Brianna. All right. Okay. So the first one that I want is the this one. Everyone, please type the word that I told you to do. Okay. The one that is not highlighted. Waiting, waiting, waiting. One of, yes, the crust, like the pizza. We always say that, oh, I love the thin crust. The thick crust. When you order a pizza, they ask you, what? Thin or thick? All right? It depends whatever you fancy. All right? You know that the crust on a pizza, it holds all the pepperoni, the cheese, the cats, the, the cat, what, 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 whatsoever. All right? If it is Hawaiian pizza, Hawaiian pizza. With all those pineapple, you don't see Hawaiian pizza in Italy. They don't. They don't even know what Hawaiian pizza is, because there the pizza is just plain, very tasty uh, tomato sauce. All right. Okay, we Americans will have Hawaiian pizza. All right. Next, good. If you haven't put the word cross, do it now. Second, and by the way, take a look. Plus, it says right here. It's outer. Now the cross, look at my hand. What color am I pointing? Tell me what color of the push pin am I pointing? What color? Show blue. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is the pen. Not, I am using the pen, multicolor. I love, you know, I, I, I'm pretty sure you probably know I love different colors. Yes, the blue. That is say the outer, this is the skin. That's the core. That's the core. I'm my mistake. Why am I saying core? My mistake. That's the crust. Outer. Outside. Yeah. All right. Next. Uh, what about this? Type the word. The big one that is not highlighted. Mantle. Right. Mantle. And the mantle is the middle. All right. What do you think? Which? Let me rearrange. What color of pin do you think is representing the mantle? The red, right? You saw that I just put it in between. That's the middle. That is, say, this mantle, and keep that in mind. Words are meant to be said okay, in a precise manner. So we will avoid saying this thing, that thing. All right, sometimes, I do that sometimes, especially when I'm talking with my friends. All right, very informal. But when it comes to, let us say, something like expert, professional, all right, especially let us say you are taking an examination in college or in high school and you need these words, then you will be able to maybe ace the exam because you know the word. Okay, all right, mental. And then here, you're right. The red pin is where the mantle is. It's in between this blue and of course the white. And then the last one is anybody know what is the what is the name of the middle part of the earth? Let me see if you wanna if you remember we did not mention it quite a lot, but I told you we're going to uh, leave it for today, which we're doing now. And you want to remember what is the word inside? Yeah, yes, the core. So this is when we cannot, we can't, not even in the mantle, we can't get that, you know, deeper than that. This is extremely, a very high temperature. Okay, more than boiling. And let me see. Oh, the water is almost boiling. That's all we need. Okay. 
Alright, let us move on and finish up with this and move on to the second part of the lesson, which is related. Okay, last but not the least, okay, could you type the word that you that I need you to put in the room? Carlos already did it. Carlos, do it once again. Okay, times of 109. 109, 109, yeah. The core. The center. All right. Okay, the core. Isn't it? People who love to exercise say, all right, I'm going to work it on my core. The core is your, the tummy, your, the crunch. Yeah. You're working on your core. You're in your physical education on your PE, maybe your teacher. Okay, let's work on the thighs, take the glutes. Now let's work on the core. Your core is your abdomen, the abs. Core are the abs, so you do crunches. Right? Right? Yeah. But this one, we're not using it the way it is using in physical education. No. We're using it in science. But it's practically similar in its real meaning. Center. Right. The center of our body is the chest right there. That's cool. So in this case, the core, where is that? Is the center of the duct tape. Let me see. <laughs> Sorry. The center of the duct tape, which this object represents that. All right. Let us uh, tell me what color in the lemon, color of the pen that represents the core. At the center, a time stamp 111. Tell me what color? Why? Yeah, here we're looking at location, very important to be precise where it is. And yesterday we've learned jog your memory, jog your memory. We have seen in our lesson, and hopefully, you learn it and retain it's just fresh yesterday. That let me get one of the example. All right, I'm glad that you're back. Okay, go the loop. We host Bolino, lovely. That's a really brand new one. Okay, let me get this one. Let's see. 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 let us we had seven of this. What does the what what this is from here last yesterday's lesson? What does the clay represent? Does it represent the country or the continent? Uh timestamp one twelve. Waiting wait count yeah, yeah yes, the continent. And this is example is uh yeah, put your put the word in the chat one twelve. Yeah, the South American continent. In the lesson yesterday, we learned that the continent is on the plate. And this is a tectonic. And the name is, it goes with the name of the continent. In this, in this case, South American plate, South American continent on the plate. And we said that this plate is on the crust outside and it moves this is what we're going to try to find out today i'm going to have you observe the result of an experiment that i have set up for you the next step i'm going to do it with you because the water takes time to boil that's why i pre-boil it okay so if we are going to use the small lemon So this continent is right here, all right, on the crust, not inside. All right, are we, uh, can, are we recalling yesterday's lesson? Yeah, type in the room, are you recalling? Type in the room, yes. If you have not put the word, please do so now. Yeah, we are, but we are looking at this in a different manner. If you want to see the way it was, go watch the recorded video. But this, we're recalling it, doing it in a different way. All right, a lot of options, isn't it? A lot of options. Just like when you go to a buffet restaurant, you have so many things to select from. Mm -hmm. Whatever you fancy, go get it. 
All right, now, uh, let me wrap this up and get the materials that we need in order to move on to the next step. But this one, I need to be very careful because I will have two hot plates that I will turn on again in boiling water. All right, so let us, uh, I'm going to clear this one and we will get back to this. Keep this in mind, huh? The three layers of earth. Could you type the word layer? A timestamp 115, layers. So put an S at the end. Put an S. Layers. There's three. The crust, the mantle, and the coal. We're going to get back to that eventually, huh? Okay, now, our planet Earth is massive. We have multiple continents. All right, let me just get it out of our way so I can put the object on the counter. <clears throat> By the way, tell me how you're doing so far. Level of understanding. You know what does five, four, three, two, one mean? Waiting, waiting, waiting. What? Oh, lovely. I there are a few who did not let me know yesterday because I did not see their name in the printout. So, please make certain you make your name appear in the room so you earn the participation points. Also, I know where you are. It's okay to be three, though. If you have questions, that's okay. Especially if you are starting to learn the lesson. There is always a starting point. Just like a marathon, there's always a start and the end. Okay. Uh, here, but first, this is what I need you to think about. <laughs> Could you type the word? Type the word heat in the room. A timestamp 116. Type the word heat in the room. 116. Excellent. Lovely. We know that for every experiment, there is a question. And we want to look for an evidence. Mm -hmm. An evidence. And this time, um, be able to give reason, particularly when we meet again tomorrow. We gotta give a reason. Why? Or how does heat, which is an energy, affect the movements of the tectonic plates? Okay, this is something that we are going to think about more and more and more. But for this particular experiment, <clears throat> this is what I want you to think about. There's also the word heat. Eventually, how we're going to connect it to the plate. Let me grab the other one. Here. So there's a word here as well. <clears throat> To be more precise, this is what we are going to find out now. Later, tomorrow, we're going to connect that with the plate. But meanwhile, please read, take the time now. The color of the food color. We want to know how does heat, which is energy, affect, if there is an effect, on the food color. Mm -hmm. Should be clear, why are we, are we crystal clear on the question? We don't know the answer yet. Type in the room. <clears throat> yeah, okay? So this one is simpler than the other one that I shared with you. We're going to get to that later, if not tomorrow. All right, but in the short clip that I will show you after the experiment, if you will pay attention and actively listen and watch their example, you will have the opportunity to learn it in advance. It is always good, especially if you are an achiever. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, let me get the materials I need. Since we need heat, I need the hot plate. Okay, yes, I uh, will get it now. Oh, it's boiling. Let me turn this off. Oh. 
evaporating now, Brianna. Okay, class. Ooh, it's hot. There you go. I I am extra careful. We did it in period two, period one. It went well. It's just the internet that well has a problem. Okay, plus how many hot plates do I have? Tap in the room, a time is on 120. How many hot plates do I have? I'm waiting. How many do I have? Two, please don't snooze. If you snooze, you lose. All right, it is hot. I will turn this back on when I have all the all the three, I'm sorry, the four beakers. Everybody, please pay close attention. Let me get the, uh, the first two. Okay. And the other two. This is the second. And I will be very careful in avoiding any spill, particularly on the computers. And let me put it here. And you will see that there is a label. This will act like the core of the earth. I'm giving you a hint here. Okay, how many glass do I have? Type in the room. How many at time stop? 121. How many do we have? Waiting, waiting, waiting. Yeah, we got two hot plates and four beakers. You see steaming and this represent the coal. Right, wait. There's more. Not yet. Not yet. Let me grab rugs to cover the computer. <laughs> Anyway, if it's spare, I'm going to get wet anyway, but I'll be careful. Okay. Spill, 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 spill. Lovely. Here you go. Woo. Hopefully. Hopefully not. Yeah. As long as you're careful. And you, and you you plan ahead and you know what to do. All right. Okay. All right. Now, remember our question is this. This takes a time again. How does heat affect the food color? If there is an effect, you gotta really watch, you're gonna observe. Mm -hmm. All right, now, this jars with water, which is hot, and I will turn on the, this, the hot plate now. Turn it on. The good thing is that I have coverings on my face. <laughs> this will represent, tell me what does this represent? The water in the jar, type in the room at 123. What does it represent? I am waiting. 123. What is in the post-it? Yes, the core, the inside of the earth. Mm -hmm. Excellent. All right. I'm going to get the mantle that we that represent. I mean, the other material that will represent the mantle the middle layer let me get a bucket of water all right here it is i'm going to put it right on top it will cover my per myself partially but i will see you in another screen and you will see me in another screen i will turn on the camera of the other computer Excellent. Lovely. Can you see? Type in the room. Can you see the plastic container that acts like a mantle? Waiting, waiting at 124. Right. Tell me what does this room, what is in the post it? What layer of earth does it represent? At one, yeah, the mantle. This is the core. That's the core, and there's the mantle. This is not boiling, and this is, uh, this is, uh, uh, 
I'll, I'll check it, Kevin. I'll check it. And this is the man that is the that is the core. Hold on, Kevin. Hold on. All right, be back, Kevin. All right, now here's what. Remember, in the question, there is. Let me turn on the other camera. All right, class, you will see me on another camera already. Now, remember that in the question, I need to have a food color. Okay. So, I need you to watch. Let me see. Okay. It is, uh, hold on. Let us, uh, okay, now it is, uh, let's, this is hot. This is hot. Okay. I'm going to get blue and maybe green food color get the blue and get the green and we see the blue and the green i'm separating by that i'm going to add food color at the very bottom of the plastic container that represents as the mantle. So, I want you to stay put and hang on tight. You will tell me what do you see happening to the food color as the water that is being warm here. The water is being warm and it was boiling a minute ago. It will eventually boil because the hot light two of them are turned back on to number 10. Actually, I can feel the heat right on my face. Good thing is that I have this plastic face shield and it protects me as well. And glasses. Then, when you see something happening differently on the food color, when I drop it inside at the bottom of the jar, Type in the room. Mm -hmm. Did you hear me? Type in the chat at one twenty-seven. Did you hear me? Yes, because it may be hard to see me because I'm behind it. All right, lovely. Okay, let me get some of the blue now. I get the blue food color. Hold on. All right, here's the blue. Let's see. Can I put the blue here? All right, that's the blue. Observe, and I'll put the green. Please start observing because eventually you may you should be able to see an effect if there is. There should. I'm giving you a hint. Here's the green. Okay, you can start and continue on observation. Could you type in the room, what do you see happening on the blue and the green food color? Keep your eyes on the screen. Is it staying at the bottom or is it rising? Is the food color staying at the bottom or is it rising up? Let me wait. Let me give you staying at the bottom. Carlos, you want to stay put and observe closely on the screen. I want you to pay attention on the blue and the yeah uh, on the green. What is happening? Are they staying at the bottom 
or are they rising? Are you sure? It looks like it, huh? What about the rest? What about the rest? I'm waiting. Rihanna, what do you see? Natalia, what do you observe? I'm waiting. What about the green? A timestamp 130. I'm going to add a few more blue. Let's do the green. Okay, class, I'm going to put some green. Uh, looks like I'm running out of blue. Let's put the green. Hopefully, this will still be visible. I'll get in there. So, tell me what's going on with the green. I'm waiting. Don't stop. So did the color of the water change? Yes. It may be too late for you to see the rising. Okay, if you were paying attention a while ago, you should have seen it. Mm -hmm. Carlos said it's rising, he is right. Okay, so eventually, so you will say, you saw, you should, that the, um, the food color, some of them has begun rising as the water in the mantle is being heated. Okay, meanwhile, I'm going to turn this off now. And... Take this out gently. This is not hot. The one that is hot is in the jar. Okay. One by one. Now it's two by two. You see it's still boiling. And finally, the hot plate. It's off. Lovely, excellent. Okay, you should have witnessed how it was set up and the heat makes the water in the second container to be a bit warmer and it caused the food color to rise up. And lo and behold, after a while, you see the combination of color causing the change of the color of the water, and that is expected. But initially, if you are looking carefully and observing, and maybe move closer to your screen, you should have seen that the food color is rising. 
Now, I'm going to have you watch a short video clip. So this video will precisely tell you how it works with regards to the movement. Let's use the word tectonic plane. Okay. The heat causes it to rise because uh, technically warm water rise up and the cold water goes down. Kind of like the warm air goes up and the meaning the warm air goes up and the cold air goes down. Do you remember the the hot air balloon experiment that we did back in time? Kind of like that. All right. By the way, are you still with me? Type in the chat, 135. I'm waiting because a lot of you did not reply a while ago. Mm -hmm. I wonder what would happen to your participation today. I didn't see your name during this block of time. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Find it out. All right. Let me stop the record. By the way, what's your level of understanding at this point in time? You know what is five, four, three, two, one mean? Level of understanding. I'm waiting. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Excellent. If you haven't put anything yet, please do so now. All right. Thank you, Christopher. Finally, I saw your name. And David as well. All right, let me stop the recording. I will post the link, watch it, and then complete the exit ticket. All right, let me stop the recording.